It's time for one of the hottest and fastest shows on the planet, Street Heaters. It's Christina with you, and as always, we're sizzling with some stylish rides and beautiful ladies. In fact, we're gonna go under the hood of one of these rides later on in the show. For now, let's get right to the action. It's Street Heaters on Fox Sports Net, coming from one of the hottest customization places in Pittsburgh, Ace Electronics. It's time to burn. What's up everybody, Street Heaters, bringing it to you from Las Vegas. That's right, we are at the SEMA Show, Las Vegas, Nevada. We're gonna check out all the cars at the SEMA Show, check out all the action, check out the newest and the greatest in automotive technology, and check out all the action going on inside of SEMA. Street Heaters, bringing it to you from Las Vegas, baby. <laughs> All right, guys, see me in Las Vegas. I told you we'd bring it to you. Now, all this stuff is just happening outside of the joint. We're about to roll inside and see all the stuff going on inside. Let's go. Guys, Street Heater, SEMA Las Vegas. Now right behind me is all rims and tires. Now a big part of a whip, you know, that brings that extra touch to it, is the right rim and the right tire combination. Let's go see what's hot here at SEMA. What's up guys, Street Heater, SEMA Las Vegas. I told you we are going to check out some rims. We're here with some Forgy Auto rims. They got something new. Tell me about these rims. Well, it's a new clear wheel I came up with a while ago. Uh, I've been working on it for about three years. Uh, da Vinci Forgy Auto was able to help me produce it. Uh, it's basically primarily a two inch thick piece of polycarbonate that's been hard coated on both sides for scratch resistance. Um, it's currently available on the market in 20 and 22 inch. Um, soon to be in 24s and 26s. Right, I definitely see it looks tight. I see you guys got it on a Benza. This could be used to apply on SUVs, anything? Any car, any vehicle, any application we can uh, build for any vehicle. Pump me out a website. Uh, that would be forgiato.com. Forgiato.com. You guys want to check it out. Rim, this is the hottest rim here down at SEMA. New South. We're back street heaters right after this. Hey guys, this is Tiffany. And this is Erica. And you're watching Street Heaters. <laughs> You know some maniacs, this is Hulk Hogan, the greatest of all time. This is my main squeeze, Linda Hogan, and you're watching Street Heaters. So what you gonna do, brother, when the largest arms in the world, Linda Hogan with the biggest gimmicks in the world, and Street Heaters 
runs wild on you, what you gonna do, street heaters? Hi, I'm Tracy. And I'm Peter. And welcome to this week's segment of 212, brought to you by Fox Chapel Marine. Let's go check out this week's boat. As you know, Allegheny County has a rich history, and the three rivers have been a vital part in this history, from the Lewis and Clark expedition to the growth of the steel industry. Well, folks, here we are on a 35 Baja Outlaw. Baja is a Brunswick company. It is the largest performance boat company in the world. They've been in business for over 35 years, and their claim to fame is True V. 24 degree V, offshore dead rise safe as can be. They have over a hundred thousand standard color combinations that you can do. All their graphics are in gel graphics. The colors are not to bleed or run. There's no paint or anything to worry about chipping or fading on them. The option list is endless. Everything you can have in a big cruiser, you can get in one of these boats here from air conditioning and heat, flat screen TVs, refrigerators, microwaves. Yet, this boat here, equipped the way it is with 496 HOs, runs 75 miles an hour out of the box. You can get to the island a lot quicker than everybody in the big cruiser and not give up any of the amenities. They're all set up for just about anybody to, to drive. They're very safe and very easy to learn. Unlike a lot of other performance boats out on the market, where you really need some good training to drive these things safely. You can have just about anybody in an afternoon out and feeling comfortable and safe in one of these boats. All the bigger Bajas have a dropout bolster seat which holds you in place when you're in the rough seas and you're not getting bounced out of the boat. We are one of the largest custom house Baja dealers in the country. Custom Colors is Baja's uh, in-house custom shop and it's anything you can imagine or dream of, they will paint on your boat. As I said, this is a 35 Outlaw. Baja makes the Outlaw series from 20 foot from the beginner to get you into the series on up to 40 foot, just like this full custom. The only limitation is your budget and your dreams. This boat is equipped with Mercury Racing 600s. With 1800 horsepower in this baby, it rockets this boat to over 90 miles an hour. And we didn't skip on anything inside. Again, flat screen TV, air, heat, vacuum flush head. You are not giving up any comforts at home, but boy, does this home rock. This is just a taste of the Bajas we have in stock. So stop on down and see how speed can change you. Or visit us on our website at foxchapelmarine.com. Thanks for joining us for this week's 212 segment. I'm Tracy. And I'm Peter. And please check us out on the website at www.foxchapelmarine.com. What's up guys, it's me Mandy from sexymandy.com and you're watching Street Heaters and we're at SEMA Las Vegas, Nevada.
ones we especially like. Which ones? You know, the ones with the cars that go. I hear you. Hit it. starters. I'm here with Tim from Extreme Car and Truck. Tim, why don't you tell me a little bit about the benefit of getting a remote car starter? Well, the biggest benefit, Kayla, is it's the convenience of not having to come out and start your car when it's freezing out. Um, start it up from in the house. About 10, 15 minutes later, when you're ready to go to work, your vehicle's warm. Uh, the defroster's on, the heater's on, and you're good to go. Okay, so what would you say the best brand is if you'd recommend a brand of a remote car starter? Um, here at Extreme, we use Viper. Um, it's the best brand on the market. It offers the most functionability um, between the keyless entry, the remote start aspect. Um, it's a great line, and it also offers a one-mile range, which is good for if you work in a building or in a shopping center. It works no matter where you park your vehicle. That's really interesting. So how long does it take to get a remote car starter installed in your car truck? Normally, depending on the vehicle, it takes anywhere from an hour to two hours, generally. Wow, so you get it back right away, that's awesome. Is it easy to do? 
It's very easy to operate, actually. Try it for yourself. Wow, that was really easy to do. Thanks so much for showing me this, Tim. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Don't forget to check us out each and every week on the Extreme Style segment. Make sure you visit our website at extremechuck.net. I'm Kayla, and I'll see you later. Mwah. All right, everybody, Street Heaters, bringing it to you from Las Vegas, theme of show. A lot of hot cars, a lot of hot girls, a lot of stuff going on. Street Heaters, bringing it to you from Las Vegas, baby. What's up? It's your girl, Kristen. I'm with my man, Greg, down here at Ace Electronics in Pittsburgh. How are you today, Greg? Good. How you doing? Honey? I'm good. I'm good. Tell me a little bit about your truck here. Oh, it's a 07 Tahoe with a fully Asani package, rims, grill, side insert. Okay, okay. You're getting me all excited. Slow down. <laughs> slow down. Okay. Now tell me a little bit about your tires and your rims here. Okay. They're Asani's custom painted to match the paint. And uh, underneath, I got the bare uh, brake system upgrade, so. Okay, nice and big, I like that, I like that. Now tell me, what, what you got in your trunk back there? Just two custom tens in a custom box in the back, that's all I need. Okay, now what's so special about the uh, grill front? Well, it's the diamond cut Asani grill. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, right? <laughs> that's what I hear. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you so much for everything today, Greg. You have any shout outs you wanna give? Just to anybody who comes down to Ace and keeps it real, that's all. More street heaters after this. The 2004 Mazda RX-8. Louie, why don't you tell me a little bit about this ride? When did you pick this up? Well, I bought it in March. Uh, brand new. This is the first year they come out. It's uh, 2004, of course. Um, has a rotary engine. There's no pistons in this car. Uh, same engine that was in the RX-7, which I have an 83 at home. I've had it for a long time. Uh, it's in mint condition. And when they came out with the RX-8, I had to have it because it's, it's an awesome car. Very high revving engine. It, it, it redlines at 9,000 RPMs. Um, this is lower and wider and bigger than the RX-7. Uh, and um, it's a 238 horsepower engine, uh, rotary engine. So this has no piston. What do they call this color? What is this? This, this color is winning blue. You know, I'll probably keep it for a long time. And as you should, because it is definitely a street heater. All right, everybody, this is a real street heater. 2004 Mazda RX-8. Thanks for coming out, Lou. Thanks for having me. Guys, this is DJ. Welcome to this week's 60 Seconds with Scion, brought to you by North Hills Toyota Scion. Let's check out this week's ride. Hi, I'm Gloria. This is 
my 2007 Scion TC, and this is how I hooked up my ride. I put Conic Unknowns on it. I put Firmware Works carbon fiber mirrors, an AIT Racing carbon fiber hood. I smoked out the turn signals, the parking lights, and the third brake light. And this is also a release series edition. Scion produced 2,500 of these cars. My car is number 1371. It comes with a Ken style body kit, TYC tail lights. I put a cat back exhaust on from Megan Racing, and I put a Honda S2K antenna on it. I also lowered it with Tanabe DF210 lowering springs. I put a carbon fiber engine cover, a DC carbon steel front strut tie bar, a cold air intake, and I also put down the AEM oil billet cap and battery tie down. I have a Gretti air diversion panel also. That is my 2007 Scion TC. All right, everyone, that's it for this week's 60 Seconds with Scion, brought to you by North Hills Toyota Scion. Well, there's no doubt about it, you get it all at North Hills Toyota Scion. Don't forget to check us out at scionofpittsburgh.com. I'm DJ, and I'll see you guys next week. That's it. Now go ahead and cool down. I'm Christina, and we'll heat you up next week, same time, same place. You have just been officially heated. Street heaters, baby. Sweet